This is Witchbase News for Friday the 13th of November 2020 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...Elite Dangerous is going free to own for a limited time ...Odyssey screenshots and news about the next dev diary ...Speed Bowl 4 is next weekend and lots more. If you enjoyed this video remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and if you'd like to support our work you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. This is huge news, brace yourself. As part of their efforts to promote themselves in a digital delivery world utterly dominated by the titan that is Valve's Steam platform the Epic Game Store regularly releases games for free on their platform for limited periods. Between the 19th and the 26th of November Elite Dangerous will be free to own on the Epic Store. If you've ever even considered a second PC account for Elite Dangerous even for a moment then there is literally no reason to not grab one and if you have that friend that still doggedly refuses to try the worlds greatest space sim then now is the time to quite frankly pile on the pressure. And don't forget as of the end of October the base game now includes Horizons as well. You'll be like some old time dodgy spiv down the pub opening up one side of your trench coat and whispering in hushed tones ...Go on try it. The first one's free. You'll find a link below to the Epic Store to get yourself signed up and ready. The last developer diary giving us glimpses of what to expect from Odyssey was released a full month and a half ago at the end of September and the community has been waiting with bated breath ever since to see what will be revealed about the upcoming expansion next. At the start of Frontiers regular Thursday livestream last night the community team dropped the bombshell that the next dev diary will now not be appearing until sometime in December. However before that hollowed out feeling sinks too deeply into your tortured soul take solace from the fact that Arthur Tolmy then went on to say that instead of a dev diary something else is coming instead. At this point we have literally no idea what that something is. The guys at Frontier gave no hint or indication of what we might expect or indeed when we might expect it. They did say we'd like the something just as much ...possibly more so. What we could like more than a new dev diary is open to speculation. What would you like to see and what do you think Frontier are teasing us with here? Let us know in the comments below. Until that something happens the details in the latest edition of PC Gamer where Odyssey was the cover story gave us a tantalising look at what we might be expecting next year and if like us you're still struggling to find a physical copy of the journal on the shelves for yourself then we now have some higher quality versions of the screenshots that were featured as part of the article. Closer inspection of the screenshots shows a directed energy weapon causing a characters personal shields to flare, much improved detailing on the SRV model and tantalising looks at what other weapons we might be using. I've linked below to the Burr Pit Instagram page where you can find the 4 previously unseen images. Next weekend we'll once again see the galaxy's commanders gripped by the now traditional bout of annual temporary madness all in the name of speed. Yes primetime casuals speed bowl competition is once again with us. If you're unfamiliar with the concept of speed bowling its principle is quite simple but difficult to master. In essence you're required to start in normal space above a specific spot on a specifically designated high G world turn flight assist off and then let your ship fall. Using a quirk in the games physics engine if you thrust upward during your descent you will begin to pick up significant forward momentum during that descent. How significant you may ask? Very significant. In previous years speeds between 3 to 4000 meters per second were nothing unusual. Once you're falling at a horrendous life threatening speed all you need to do is arrive over the target zone as low as possible and survive the ordeal to be in with a chance of winning. Easy. I've linked below to the official forum post about the competition where you can familiarise yourself with the rules and you'll also find a link to Primetime Casuals official discord where you can chat with other commanders who are also craving the cold embrace of the void and a large rebuy. 
Whenever I see a Thargoid kill soloed on video it's always impressive. Dual kills even more so. 3 kills well... how about 10? In a world first achievement this week Commander Katie Byrne of the AXI shows exactly how it's done when your thing is killing bugs. In a staggering one and a half hour marathon fight Commander Katie dispatches no less than 3 cyclops, 2 basilisks, 3 medusas and 2 hydras all from inside one encounter with no flak used and flight assist off. The opening shot of the video alone showing what she's facing is enough to send us mere mortals running for the back of the sofa let alone then getting in amongst them and picking them off one by one. Commander Katie Byrne is the monster that Thargoid parents warn their kids about if they don't behave at bedtime. I'm glad she's on our side. Do check the video out it's linked below. And finally this week next time someone tells you there's nothing to do in Elite then send them to the website owned by Commander 6 Shooter. The good commander is creating a huge and ever expanding quite literal checklist of things to see and do in the galaxy of Elite Dangerous. It's a massive list already with convenient categories ranging from project dynasty sites and engineers to all things Thargoid, Guardian and Lightning Cloud. If you want to ensure you see it all create yourself a login and start checking things off. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.